the first things that we did when we looked at uh, the grocer partnership was really needing to validate whether this would work in a kosher environment and whether it could be implemented. So a team from Rena, as well as a member of our board, uh, Carolyn Morrison, went to Ottawa to really look at the research and development grocer container and to see if it could be implemented back here at Rena. So the team spent the time in Ottawa, they spent time discussing, they came back. There was a lot of things to consider because the kosher aspect hadn't really been implemented anywhere else. So we knew we would have to adapt and modify and test and practice to see if it would actually work. Um, and the team really felt strongly that this was uh, an amazing project. Uh, that we felt strongly that, um, uh, that the team really brought back to us some really valuable information. Um, and, and with this information, we were then able to go forward with the project. I'm Mackenzie. I'm a horticulture technician with Grocer. Uh, I'm the lead installer of this container uh, with my coworker Amanda. Uh, what our role is is making sure that the container is fully operational within the week that we are here, as well as training the operators, Aki and Fred, uh, how to operate the farm and keep the sustainability practices and the SOPs that we have. Um, these binders show everything from regular maintenance to seeding and harvesting and packaging. Um, and when we leave, we will be uh, available for like customer service questions. So we're supporting our customers along the way and making sure um, that they know exactly um, what they're doing and if they have any specific questions or troubleshooting steps that they need to walk through, our team is there for them. Hi, I'm Amanda. Uh, I'm a research associate with Brochure and I'm here with Mackenzie to support the install of this amazing farm. And uh, I work in the R&D team. We focus on improving yields of crops and offering learnings to our customers. Also, making sure to implement new crops and share those lear learnings with them. Um, and another uh, aspect of my role is to support with the Green Thumb program, which is a program in which we train customers on growing in the farm. So we extend that learning opportunity even after they've already started uh, running their farm and we're, we're with them all along the way for a year, uh, answering questions and providing information for an extended period, period of time. And it's an amazing journey and I'm glad to, to be part of it. In clean environments, one of the key pieces is for people to be able to don and doff appropriate equipment for clean environments. I think what is a little bit interesting is that all of us throughout the COVID pandemic have had to gain some experience and expertise on donning and doffing of personal protective equipment. Um, and so what was interesting is when we had to adapt this to um, uh, this particular initiative and this containering and having a clean uh, growing space, we already had this knowledge uh, and we realized that the COVID bug is very different from the bugs that are uh, 
potentially not allowed in kosher environments uh, our knowledge and our expertise and experience from the COVID pandemic actually helped us understand how to don and doff and what important equipment that we must wear. 50 years ago, Rabbi Joseph Kelman started this organization. One of the important aspects of RENA is the element of kashrut. We started very much exclusively as a Jewish organization. We are now open to all cultures. But being able to produce kosher, leafy greens has been a challenge within the community of, uh, of Jewish people who observe the kosher laws. And so we did some work with Grocer initially. We looked at their container. And then we started talking to some of the rabbis of COR to see what suggestions they would have to make it better and to reduce the possibility of bug infestation. And that is why you saw those doors. Those sliding doors are part of an improvement and is the first of its kind uh, in the grocer portfolio. RENA for 50 years has been an organization that has been inclusive and has been encouraging inclusivity. And when we first saw the container, I said, this is wonderful, but could we ever support one of our individuals who unfortunately may be living in a wheelchair for their lives? And so we decided to sacrifice some of the interior space that you've seen earlier in order to widen the aisleway in case we had the opportunity to have an individual who lives in a wheelchair or has to work in a wheelchair to actually be able to go through the container and turn around. That was very, very important to us, and that's why we advised Grocer to connect with the Rick Hansen Foundation to take them through our uh, measurements and make sure that what we were creating was going to be wheelchair accessible. Welcome to Rena Grocer Hydroponic Container. This is where all the magic happens. We first start from the seedling. This is where the seeds get germinated. They grow in the, the trays into the tent, and then they go onto the, the growing racks on the sides. There's three growing levels where it contains growing lights, LED made, uh, with hydroponic watering system, um, with rock wool as a medium, where we could grow leafy greens as kosher. This whole facility is automated from the HVAC system where it controls the air conditioning to CO2 to watering and mixing fertilizer. So everything is uh, controlled by the computer and all we have to do is do a maintenance check and a harvest. This place is heavily secured with PPE. As you can see, I'm fully dressed with booties on, a head uh, shield on, with a lab coat to keep us from pests as well as bacteria and molds that can be possibly grown. sealed package. Each of these have been sealed and the entire thing sealed again. So you have to bring two seals to get into it and hopefully we will have it down to the rabbis in the next half hour. Think about the bigger opportunities, the bigger outcomes that this whole project is going to create in terms of uh, 
employment in terms of engagement in terms of volunteer opportunities in terms of um, engaging with the individuals in terms of eating what you're growing and in terms of growing vegetables 12 months uh, in a year and supporting the uh, green environment green uh, uh, initiatives so yes there are some financial savings uh, but uh, the bigger outcomes are what I see as individuals engagement and individuals uh, employment opportunities. So one of the improvements that we were looking to do is to reduce the amount of time it takes if we require any type of test of the uh, produce coming out of the container. So instead of driving the 11 kilometers from uh, Bathurst and Clark down to Bathurst and Lawrence, we actually decided to put into here our packaging center. And so we've built this entire facility to meet specifications set out by the rabbis who actually are part of the uh, kosher certification process. And they uh, made sure that we put in the right types of tubs, the right types of drains, good water speed, good water pressure to test, good water pressure to wash, everything that is possible we've put in here. And the idea is that the uh, greenery, whether it comes from our container or from the Ontario Food Terminal, enters through this door, gets stored here, gets prepped on this table, gets washed and tested here, The test is basically made up of water flowing through this colander, two colanders actually, with a water permeable filter in between that is designed to catch any impurities. And the impurity we are looking for are bugs. Once the test is complete, the permeable filter will be brought over to a light table, which we hope to be positioning here. It will be examined by the rabbis to see if there is anything at all on here. If it's a clean sheet, then the batch is declared good and kosher. And then we move into the packaging area, which will be here towards the west end of the existing packaging center, the old greenhouse. And then once the products are weighed, labeled, packaged, stored, and then eventually shipped out the door uh, to the marketplace. And generally they have two places they'll go. They'll either go to uh, supermarkets up and down uh, the uh, Bathurst Street corridor, where most of the kosher supermarkets are located in Toronto, or the product will be taken directly to caterers or restaurants. We're walking to one of the caterers who uh, have also located in the Rena Employment Zone they hire arena individuals, they train them to work in the kitchen, and we would be delivering the leafy greens to go into some of their products that they then ship out, whether it's to the uh, restaurant itself or all the way into the, uh, the various supermarkets. As you can see, things are very busy in the kitchen today, but just look down this way. That is the distance from growing to testing, to putting it into final food products. Like all things organic, um, they change. And this project, this effort uh, at Greena and the Grocer Project uh, could go in multiple ways. I'm hoping that with a little bit of care, a little bit of attention, and a lot of learning, we can grow this substantially to create uh, greater employment, uh, sustained food access, and to increase the chance and involvement of community in Rena. So there's tons of potential for growth uh, in packaging, in delivery, in fresh food uh, services, and meeting the needs of our community. <laughs>